this is something that you guys have been asking for for two years, I think. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It just took me two years to get to. Just gotta move a whole bunch of this garbage in my way. You know what? I love just having random buckets of just camera parts. Like, there's a crank bolt in here, there's a timing belt tensioner, timing belt idler. That looks like a lower control arm bolt. And a screwdriver. And hundreds of other bolts. But that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is this gentleman. This gentleman right here. Come on. Alright, it's not coming up to me. This gentleman is a Toyota motor that I blew up and blew the head gaskets out of and sent the head away to get machined and then brought it back, put a new head gasket in and put it all back together. And now it's been sitting here. And I made it run on uh, alcohol, sorry not alcohol, on gasoline with a carburetor, blah blah blah. Pretty cool, but now I actually want to put it in a car. So I'm going to take off this because I can't run carburetors in most places here in Ontario and I didn't really get it fine tuned enough to consider it completely done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off this, we're going to clean out all that, we're going to put all the, all the silicone down here. We're going to put the fuel injection system back on it. We're going to take this and drop it into this car. We're going to put all the EFI system back onto this. <sighs> we're going to take off this transmission. We're going to put a different transmission on. So yeah, there's quite a bit to do to this. And I don't know, we might as well just get started on it. There's no really delay in it, so boom, let's get this done. So we just got all the intake back on, all the wiring back on, uh, what are those things called? Skipping my mind. Uh, crank, coil packs, coil packs, that's what it is. We got the coil packs back on, crank sensor plugged in. We got our lifting points all set up. We're going to get ready to lift this thing here very shortly and we're going to pull the transmission off. Now this transmission here is actually 100% garbage. And I know it's 100% garbage. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up and we're actually just going to try to cut around the starter and get rid of everything else except the starter. And I want to keep this thing as like a little starting thing with motors on the ground to see which ones are good and which ones are bad because I'm getting upset by putting bad motors in good cars. So I guess next thing's next is get the engine crane set up and get this thing ready to be lifted and get the transmission off and then we're going to go crazy with... I don't know, porter band or sawzall, and just cut the whole side of this transmission out. Well, today I've been a little busy out here. I got this uh, transmission off. Just still got to take off the torque converter, then we're going to bolt that torque converter on. I think it's good. It's just been sitting there for two years, so it may not be good. Then we got to bolt that transmission on, which I came out of a good car, onto this. So still a little bit more work to do to this came apart pretty easy um, no big complaints mm, I tried cutting the the transmission apart so I could use a little piece to use it to start this thing but that didn't happen um, I ended up cutting it too small Sawzall kind of had the hardest time in the world going through it so whatever but the next thing we got to do is put this stuff all on there I think that's gonna be okay I, I should have put it inside the transmission I really should have, but heck, that was a year and a half ago. You can't dwell on the past, only live on the future. Akuna Matata! So, let's get this transmission, that torque converter, onto this motor. But this does have to come off. It looks like it's been heated up pretty good. So, yeah, I think, I think that's been done. I think this transmission was done on this thing. Just gotta take her off now. Well, we did it. It actually didn't take as long as I thought. We got the transmission on there. I filled up the back with transmission fluid. There is a little leak coming from here. 
but I'm really not that worried about it. Got all the motor mounts back on, all the bracing, transmission on. The only thing we're missing is the starter, uh, alternator, but all the bolts are in. Everything's done up, except for that one. But um, yeah, I got a lot farther than I thought I was going to today. The wife said, well, you'll have this in by the end of the weekend. I said, no, I'll be lucky to have it in there by mid next week. But here I am tonight trying to put this in here. Uh, so we're just going to try to line up some of these holes and drop this thing in. Um, kind of excited. The only downside is I don't remember what this transmission's out of. And it's kind of sat on the floor for a year. And the engine has some modifications done to it. And I've actually only heard it run on a carburetor. So I've never even heard it run on EFI. I know you guys are saying, well, you could have ran it on the ground. Why? Why run all that stuff and do it? Put it in here, take my chances, check the transmission when it gets in there. There must have been a reason why I painted this whole transmission green. It, It's probably good, I think. Question mark? Hopefully? I hope so. All right, let's put it in there. Well, that went very, very smoothly. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm going to lift it up now, put all the motor mount bolts back in the back side, throw those ones in the front side, and uh, go from there. But my God, was that pretty smooth. Um, little things to hook up, like um, power steering and, I don't know, electrical? Oh yeah, that's right, I just kind of cut that one, so there's all that right there to the old system. We need to redo the power brakes, uh, we need to attach the master, um, yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how easy that went in there. I love putting motors and stuff, it feels like it could get so much done. But, um, yeah, screw it, let's, uh, let's celebrate for a bit. <laughs> 